If you have goats and sheep, there are going to be times where you need to physically catch the animal and restrain it. Maybe that's to medicate it or to check it for worms or deworm, trim its feet, load it onto a trailer, move it from one pasture to another. Whatever the reason is, you need to be able to get your hands on the animal. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Over the last 25 years, I've had some pretty comical moments chasing goats and sheep around. There are a few tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that have made my life a little bit easier. Maybe it'll make yours easier too. Come along. Tip number one is train them to a bucket. Feed them a little bit of grain every day for a few weeks to get them used to coming to you. And when they hear a bucket rattle, they'll get excited. They want to eat and they'll follow you around. Feed them in the same place every time. What you do is you get them where they'll follow you. That makes your life so much easier rather than just trying to chase them around. So, if you have to push them rather than lead them with feed, the easiest thing to do is to keep them all together. If you try to isolate one animal and try to just move that one animal, it's going to continue to want to go back to the flock, and you'll be fighting an uphill battle. So the easiest thing to do is to move the whole flock. Make a large circle around the back side of the flock until you see that they're starting to move. Once they're starting to move in the direction that you want, just stay behind them and keep them at a slow pace, just moving the direction that you want. In this case, I'm trying to get them to go through that gap right over there. So I'm getting behind them. Just gently leading them. They're going a little bit more to the right than I want them to go. So I just raise my right hand, snap my finger, move to the right a little bit, and that'll push them left. Let's go. Let's go. Tip number two is to build some type of confined area, a catch pen of some type where they come into that area and uh, if you, like I said, if you regularly feed them in that area, they'll come in and be pretty relaxed. The more confined they are in that area, the easier they are going to be to handle. If you just have a wide open pasture and you just have to chase them around five acres or whatever, your chances of success are very slim. You're going to stress the animal a lot more. You're going to have an animal that is always spooked. But if you have a small area where you can kind of gather them up, collect them in one area, it makes it much easier when trying to handle them. The smaller the area that you can confine them to, the easier it is to be able to handle them. Once you have them in a pretty tight area, then it becomes pretty simple to be able to handle them. Let me show you a few tips though. You'll notice that they are much calmer when they're crowded together in a small area. This makes working them so much easier and it's much less stress on them and you as the handler. There are a couple of tips that I use when having them in a small area like this. To be able to catch them easily, usually I have them where they're just crowded in one direction. And then I'm able just to reach in back leg of the one that I need. Pretty much once you lift the rear end off the ground, it's hard for them to do much with it. Another technique that I use is if they're coming towards me, I use the crook of my arm to grab them around the neck. Just like that. 
like this. Then you can pretty much handle them however you need to. Picking the front legs up off the ground allows you a little bit more control as well. When it comes to restraining them with sheep, there's a technique that I use and it's amazing how it works. If you'll pick a sheep up and set it down on its rump, most of the time they'll just almost go completely limp. You can do pretty much anything you want to them at that point. That's not always the case, but generally that's true. Let me try to show you. Straddle it, pick up the front legs, use your knees to get behind it, set it down like this. And notice how they just go limp. You can bend over, trim their feet, work them, deworm them, whatever you need to do, and then you can just turn them back upright. With goats, if they have horns, you can use the horns as handles to catch them. This is a pretty poor illustration right here, but it's the only goat that I had on this side of the farm. With her, we just restrain her with a collar. But if she had horns, you just grab them by the horns. Good handles. It can work with sheep too, but most sheep don't have horns. While there are probably a number of tools that have been made to help catch animals, the lasso probably being one of the oldest and most familiar, uh, I don't have any experience with lassoing sheep. I don't own a lasso, so I can't give any tips with that. But uh, one tool that's used for sheep and goats a lot is a shepherd's crook. Uh, it's got a, a, larger, a larger hook on it for catching them around their neck. And it's also got a smaller hook on the other side usually that is for a leg catch. I don't use these a lot. I have one. Uh, matter of fact, I almost never use it, but I keep it handy. The advantage to this is it allows you to get a little bit further away from them. The closer you are to the animal, obviously, the more they're going to be spooked. This allows you to be a little bit further away. They're going to be a little bit more relaxed, and it also allows you to get them from behind. You are coming up behind one. Catch it. And handle it as you need to. Moving and handling goats and sheep doesn't always go smoothly. I've been face down in the mud, drug around the pasture. I've had all kinds of things happen. But these are a few tips that have been helpful to me. Maybe if you're a beginner, you can find some value out of this. If you like this video, appreciate the content of this channel, please give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you're in the Northwest Alabama area or within driving distance and you're looking for goats and sheep, give me a call, see what we have available at the time. Thank you. Happy farming.